Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. This is my second topic about how to secure ACK containers with Falco. So today I'm focusing on how to secure containers running on ACK, that's Alibaba Cloud, Container Service for Kubernetes, but Falco does support other Kubernetes distributions as well. So I got a new title, a Principal Security Specialist. I'm very much proud of being here and uh, I'm six times security certified and also four times Kubernetes certified. Let's get started. Farco, what is Farco? The Farco project, it was originated from Sysdig. They created the Farco and then later donated to CNCF. So Farco is now the cloud native runtime security tool. It is the de facto Kubernetes threat detection engine. Think about a Farco as a security camera to de detecting your unexpected behavior, intrusions, or any data theft in your in real time. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys are aware. Farco last month they just submitted a proposal for the CNCF graduation. For those of you who are not aware, when a project accepted by CNCF, it was initially, it will be initially sandbox project, then depends on the maturity level and also adoption level, it will become an incubating project. And then finally, it becoming graduated project. So Fargo will be there, soon will be graduated. So Fargo, it's a runtime detection tool so let's think about uh, all the enterprise uh, customers, they have all different tools to secure your environment, but prevention is not enough. Well, that's where Farco was here as a runtime detection tool where Farco was operates. So Farco operates at the kernel level and also at the user space level. So in a short, it does uh, focus on container security and also Kubernetes cluster security. And with the plugin, they also provided a, a cloud level security. So just on the high level summarize, what is the FACO used for? So number one, runtime security for your containers, for your Kubernetes cluster. Secondly, real-time cloud risk detection. But last but not least is about the talking about the, their open source security software. So transparency, definitely it's not a problem. So how it works. So Farco was running here. He talked to Linux system via syscalls. He talked to Kubernetes cluster uh, via the integration with the Kubernetes audit logs. For the cloud, it does talk to the cloud by the activity logs, so for example, uh, AWS Cloud Trail, uh, Google Cloud Audit Logs, or Azure Activity Logs. As I say, it does support all different Kubernetes distributions, including Alibaba Cloud. The plugin, there is no limitation. You can customize, you can write your own plugin to integrate with any other cloud. Okay, so Farco was running here. Uh, as a threat detection engine, talk to all different sources here. And then once they detect some uh, uh, abnormal activities, it will send out the alerts, okay? So this is a high level FACO architecture. I'm not going to go through all of the details here, just to highlight a few key points here. So Farco does need to have a kernel module running from the OS kernel. And then from the user space, there is a, a few libraries and the modules. The uh, uh, libraries cap, it's uh, for the capturing. It will capture the syslogs, capture all the different syscalls, and then pass to the inspection module to inspect to see if there is any you know, abnormal activities or anomalies. And then the Farco engine here, 
uh, via the YAML file, you can have the configuration also via the YAML file and the rules defines uh, what exactly you want to allot. You want to capture to, can be right to the syslog or the standard output or via the gRPC integration. Literally any one of the tools can be used. For example, like uh, Grafana also have that lock key and it can be output to Slack or Teams, et cetera. Okay, not only the Cisco, Linux Cisco, but Kubernetes audit log, audit events also can be captured. And the plus with the plugin, you can get all the cloud activity logs also inspected by Farco engine. So without wait, let me give you a live demo to show you how it works. Before I jump to the web console, uh, my terminal to show you how it works, just to highlight where Farco can be deployed. So primarily, there are a few options. The first one is uh, install Farco on the Linux system. This is more common. Actually, it is a recommended way. So why? Because of for isolation. So you're running in the Linux host systems. Uh, it can be isolated from all your containers, from your Kubernetes cluster. And secondly, for most of the customers, uh, for some situation, you actually, you're not able to install to the Linux system. You don't get access to the host. So you can run the file call on the Kubernetes cluster. And last but not least, if you still uh, choose to, you can deploy file call as a Docker containers as well. So today, since we are talking about Kubernetes, I will use Kubernetes, Alibaba Cloud, ACK Kubernetes cluster as an example. As I said earlier, it does cover all other Kubernetes distributions. So here is a lab of preparation. So if you already have a Kubernetes cluster running, you don't have to re-prepare the environment. For my case, earlier we already have the ACK cluster up running. All I need to do is the Farco open source free tool. If you want to get more details, you can go to farco.org to check to find all the details. How to install Farco on Kubernetes cluster. The first two step, it is it depends. If your system does not have the kernel headers installed, for example, in this example, I at least use uh, for Linux, Ubuntu and Debian, you can run this command to install the Linux kernel or uh, Linux headers. If your Helm wasn't installed, here is another, another command to install Helm first. Once you have this environment ready, <coughs> excuse me, you actually literally just two steps. You add a, a Farco a Helm chart, and then you run this command to install to your Kubernetes cluster. So once it has been installed to your Kubernetes cluster, how to verify? You want to check the logs. So you just run this command, kubectl logs, uh, with this label and this namespace, we will give you the logs. And how to trigger uh, one of the Kub Kubernetes audit rules. At least the two test example here. One is to spawn a, a shell, and the other one is to touch a file from the bin directory. And both of these commands will trigger the file code to record the activities. And once you run these command, you can check the logs again to see if Fargo captured these uh, activities. So let me jump to my VS Terminal, uh, VS Code. Yeah, my cluster is up running, hopefully. This time it took uh, nine minutes, uh, 57, yeah, almost 10 minutes. Let me see if I can check, let me get to my node to see from them. Yeah, my node is up running just nine minutes and 12 seconds ago. It's a one node cluster, ACK cluster running from Alibaba Cloud 1.20. And all I need to do is remember for Alibaba Cloud, they actually already have the, the kernel headers installed. I don't have to run this command again. So Helm, I already have the Helm. So the first step is I'm going to run the Helm repo add command to add the Helm chart. And after I add the Helm chart, the next command is we're going to install Farco. 
So the second command, we're going to install Farco to the namespace called Farco. So after I run this command, so you can monitor the progress. So let's say we're going to have a new namespace called Farco created. And a Farco dash GXD 5K, that's the port, will be launched shortly. It might take about 30 seconds to launch the to complete the port the port will be up running and in the meantime i also have some other you know postgresql that's my test database also uh, pre-installed so it's almost there 30 seconds yeah what while we're waiting yeah the port is initializing shortly it will become a uh, running status in the meantime let me open another terminal here uh, I need to export the cube configure here. Just to confirm, I can still access the cluster. Yes, I do have the access to the cluster. The next one we're going to run here is we're going to check uh, tail the logs. So from all this page, we're going to tail the logs. And shortly you can see, once the pause is up running, you can see uh, these are details uh, from the uh, Farco. Uh, ports. So Farco initialized with the configuration. So the configuration file, it's on the etc Farco folder. And we also added uh, loaded the plugin in Kubernetes audit. And by default, if you are not to specify uh, the Kubernetes audit uh, rules, actually, it's not going to load the Kubernetes audit. So you want to be able to capture the anomalies or any activities from the Kubernetes cluster. So since we're running here, so Kubernetes uh, uh, audit plugin has been installed. JSON plugin also need to be loaded. And it looks like it's all running. We're ready to capture the events. So we're not only capture the Kubernetes audit logs, we also capture the syscall logs. Now, if I'm switching back to my other terminal, so you can see the Farco is running. And now what I need to do is I'm going to cancel this here. What I need to do is uh, I'm going to simulate or trigger one of the Kubernetes audit uh, law rules. So the first one we're going to share to the containers, okay? So let me run this command. So basically we're going to execute log into the Farco containers. So you can see we log it into the Farco containers. If I switch back to other terminal, you can see we captured the event. So notice a shell was spawned in the container with an attached terminal. And here are the details, the namespace, Farco, the port, this is my port, this is my container, what shell I used, and what command line we're using bash. Okay, the PID, the terminal ID, and also container ID, what images we're using, okay? So that means that my Fargo is working perfectly. It's started to capture any abnormal activities. By default, there are already a lot of rules already built in. So I did not configure any other stuff. So it's already capturing the activities. Let me switch back to other terminal. I'm going to check another event. So this time, I'm actually check uh, an event. I'm going to write a file to the bin directory. And on, oh, sorry, my mistake. I should exit from all this, uh, this port first. And now I'm going to run this command. So you can see we just tried to touch a file from the bin directories. Let me switch to the other terminal to say, did we capture the new activity? Yes. At uh, the second activity we captured here, error file below a known binary directory open for writing. What exactly we are doing? We're running touch command. We're going to touch the file under the bin directory, test bin, the PID, and the, together with other details. Okay, that basically highlights how we are going to, how it works, uh, how Fargo works for the containers. As I say, it does work for any other Kubernetes distributions as well. Today, you know, since we are talking about the Alibaba Cloud ACK, so I just use uh, Alibaba Cloud ACK as an example. So I'll come back to my slide deck here. 
So we just tested how it works for the Kubernetes cluster. So in this case, ACK, but if it was to install, to set up a file on Linux host, here is a, a few commands I listed here. I use CentOS or Rail or Fedora or Amazon Linux as an example. You run the RPM command, you then uh, run the cool command followed by install the kernel headers if the kernel was installed. Literally install Farco is just one command. YAML install Farco. It will install to your Linux host. If you want to try it, you can tell the syslog uh, could be var slash um, a log message or slash syslog in the graph uh, Farco. You try, you, you, you can try to trigger one of the rules. Uh, for example, you might try to find the ID underscore RSA, the private uh, uh, keys, it, it will trigger a file call a lot. For example, the second example, you're going to touch a file from the bin directory. It will trigger the, the a lot. Okay. I think, that, yeah, for the purpose of today's demo, I'm not going to show you the Linux, but I did include the instructions here. So for anyone uh, interested, if you want to try the enterprise edition from a Sysdic, the file call listed here, is an open source tool. And from the table, you can see on the right-hand side, Sysdig Secure, it is also based on the Farco open source tool, but it does provide additional feature functionalities. So feel free to give it a try. For anyone interested to continue to learn a little bit more, yeah, you can follow me to learn. I just learned the Farco 101. Uh, it's about a six hours learning and also Farco plugin for the cloud integration. If you go to learn.assistic.com, so complete this training, it will be you will be a, a, a lot be a lot more familiar to Farco how it works. Okay, that's all I want to talk about about how to secure containers via Farco. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope it is useful to you all. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.